Hello and welcome to Vlogmas. I had a comment asking whether or not I'd be prepared to share what I get my boys for Christmas and of course I am. But I kind of just wanted to add as part of my intro that we all do things the way we do things and the way I do things might not work for you and you might have your opinions on that. That's fine, they're your opinions. I do what works for me and my family and my children. So please bear that in mind. My children get five Christmas presents, stocking fillers, and a present from Santa. And that is all they get. And my boys don't know any different. Obviously, they get presents from other members of the family, and my mum spoils them absolute rotten, to the point where you don't even know where to put the stuff. So I'm gonna spin you around and show you and talk through what I've got my boys for Christmas this year. So here's what I've got for my Cameron this year. He's 14, I know you can see it. He has got the iPhone 5S for Christmas. Now the backstory uh, behind that and the reason that he's got an iPhone is because when he was 11 and he went to big school, we put him on contract. We got him a SIM only contract where he just had you know, a cheap 20 pound phone didn't even have internet access because you know you're just starting out a few weeks later he lost the phone I replaced it and then it just sat in a drawer he had absolutely no interest in it so I switched it up and I put him on pay as you go he had that for a while and then as he got older he made more friends at school and he'd become more of a teenager so Danny gave him his old phone which was just like a Sony Xperia with that he was using it more and more and I was topping it up and it was costing me ten pounds and it had lasted him two or three days and I was just like this is getting ridiculous so I put him back on contract now when I got this phone the seven had just come out so they were just basically doing away with them so I got this as part of the contract I pay sixteen pounds a month for his contract and the phone was free Obviously, he doesn't know that, but a free iPhone, who's going to complain to that? Um, then we have the Dungeons and Dragons board game. This was second hand. It cost me £25, and these are really expensive new, and, I, and he's been after that. We then have a phone case, Five Nights of Freddy phone case, Rayman Legends Wii U game. When I looked on Amazon, it was cheaper on Amazon New than it was second hand. Then he got his Christmas pyjamas, his Christmassy socks, and his other stocking fillers. So he's got five presents plus stockings. Then if I come over to Liam, his main present is a scooter. And then he has got the Connect um, Mario Kart a little Mario game it's just like a mini game so I kind of put I'm gonna put them two as one present because they're very both very small um, and he has the toad again on Amazon they were selling that off cheap so I got that and the Luigi's Mansion this was the game that I paid 16 pounds for and it is second hand he's then got his Christmas pajamas his Christmas socks and his little stocking fillers, like the yo-yos, they've all got the yo-yos in their colours and things. And as I move over to Ollie's, it looks like he's got more. I think it's just because the, little, the littler they are, the bigger the presents seem to be. So his main present is this castle. Ollie does love a castle. We can see a castle from our upstairs windows and he, he's obsessed with it. So it's just a wooden castle with many different sort of dragons and figures and knights and things like that. And it's just a play mat. That was second hand. Then I got him a Hot Wheels track second hand. And I just bought him some Hot Wheels cars and a case to carry those cars. So that's main. That's his second. Then here we just have um, some sort of construction toy. Danny's very hands on and he does a lot of like building things in the house and things like that. And Ollie loves to help. So when Daddy's in the man cave doing his thing, Ollie can do his as well. I also got him this Five Nights of Freddy Teddy. 
in the summer for the boys' birthdays, I bought Cameron and Liam one of these. And Ollie really wanted one. At the time, I was like, oh, he's a bit young for Five, Night Five Nights at Freddy. But it's just a teddy at the end of the day. I don't think he sort of really understands the whole game of Five Nights at Freddy's like the older two do. Then he has his Christmas pyjamas, his Christmassy socks, and his stocking fillers. So that is what my boys are getting for Christmas. So I hope you enjoyed my video and I'd love to know what you do with your children. Do you shower them with gifts or do you keep it a limit of money or do you keep it a limit of presents like I do? Um, I've heard of people doing, is it one thing to read, one thing they need, one thing to wear, one thing they want. That's quite cool. So I'm going to have to wrap it all. Every year I say to myself, wrap as you go, Helen, wrap as you go, and I never do. So I'm probably going to wrap that tomorrow, if not the day after. I'll probably take you along with me with that. I need to go through my other Tupperware box and sort through the presents that I have for other members of the family and some very dear friends and wrap them too. Do you wrap as you go? Or are you like me? I'm really good at, at buying it early and making lists and planning it. It's just wrapping it that I'm not very keen on. I usually get my husband to do the nice ones because I can scruffily do the kids' ones and then if it's actually going to someone that might actually look at the wrapping paper rather than just tear it open, I get my husband to sort of wrap it. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day and take care. Bye!